Law and Order Criminal Intent is in an hour on five, but first, secret letters, interrogation and trust issues like you've never seen in Trisha Goddard. show. Now, Jenny is convinced her partner, Ryan, is cheating on her. And she says she became suspicious when she found secret letters from other women hidden away. Well, in an attempt to uncover the truth, she wanted Ryan to face our interrogator, Drew McAdam. Now, with a background in questioning terrorists, I know former British intelligence officer McAdam will get to the bottom of Ryan's love notes and we'll find well, out Well, as I just more said, today that. Andrew faces our interrogator, McAdam. Now, here's a little bit about who he is and what he does. This man was in army intelligence. He worked in some of the toughest theatres of war. He is the interrogator. He uses advanced questioning techniques to expose lies, to uncover untruths, to change lives. McAdam. I don't need you to tell me the truth. I already know when you're lying. I know more about you than you do. I get into your mind. It's not brainwashing, it's brain control. Enter my interrogation room. Wow. Yeah, Drew is going to be busy today because now it's time to meet Jenny. Jenny discovered secret letters from other women, all addressed to her partner, Ryan. So, Jenny reckons the writing's on the wall for their relationship if Ryan's been doing more than just writing to these other women. Well, Ryan has been interrogated by former British military intelligence officer, McAdam. So, has he broken Ryan down into confessing all? We will find out after this short break. Now, Jenny was furious when she found piles of secret letters from other women, all addressed to her partner, Ryan. Plus, add to that the fact that she's also caught him spying on women in their underwear. But, 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 Ryan insisted that he hadn't done anything wrong. What about neighbours? Does she ever accuse you about neighbours? She, well, she has over the road, yeah. There's, this, um, there's a couple of girls over the road from my house, look, and, um... If I walk up the park and like I t she's with the dogs, I've we've tied the dog up and I've slept with her. You know what I mean? She's. <laughs> well, she, she thinks. She, that's what she, she says. She thinks yeah. you're sleeping with somebody at the park. Mm, at the park on a seesaw, really. He's a womanizer and basically <laughs> he's taking the f out of me. So, do you trust him? No. One of the girls that he was with, I know, and she's ah. told me that he has been with one of the girls that was there. What? She's an ex or something like that? Well, more of a fling than an ex. He, he doesn't realise he's flirting, but he does. But has he told you that any girls fancy him? Do you, do you yeah, think he's he... always telling me, all oh, the time. I can't, I can't let her come with me, cos if a girl talks to me, she's, she wants to kill her. So did you know that girl? Sense. You do? You're, you're full of <laughs> Well, why would she be making all this stuff up? Why should I prove myself to you? You should just believe me. Because you say you love me, so I think you should prove it to me. If you find out that Ryan has cheated, then what? I'm going to have to be strong and just end it. Well, Ryan has faced our interrogator, Drew McAdam. So will he be able to persuade Ryan to tell the truth? Well, Jenny hopes so, so let's welcome her back. Please welcome Jenny. <laughs> you really yeah. think, you really think yeah. that he yeah. is guilty as charged? Yeah. OK, well, let's meet him and find out what the interrogator thought. So let's welcome back Ryan. Today's the 
Yeah, no, I think you should sit there. Hey, have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Ryan, have a seat. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, get out of her face. Sit down. Let me say no, what I've got to say. You've no, had your say. Sit down. All right, sit down. Have a look. Jenny, do you want to I'm see what the interrogator down. said? Check this out. Don't see this, Jenny. Want to see this or not? I'm going to go through this step by step, mm -hmm. and at the end of this, I'm going to tell you what my thoughts what are. You've okay, been yeah. Um, do you find it? Other women attractive because we're supposed to do obviously. About that. I wouldn't be a man, wouldn't I, if I never found him attractive? Right, and that bothers Jenny. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, but what you're saying is that in that 11 months, you've never acted on being. Ad being no, I ain't been with nobody. I, I admit that I've like flirted with women, I've, I've never right. actually physically right. gone and done something with a woman. If you're lying to me, I will go out there and I will say uh, that you're yeah, lying, yeah. okay? That's not going to look good for you. <laughs> so the only way out of this, in all honesty, is for you to come absolutely clean with me. Yeah. There's only one person you've ever been with, so, and who was that? I've been with behind the back. Yeah. I know it is. Right. Some girl. Right. Does she know? She, she's heard me mention her, but that's the only right. person. I never slept with her, she's, you know. Well, okay. but this is where it's all coming out, OK? Yeah. so. Right, we're starting now because I knew something was going on the way I know that, mm. okay, so we've got the name. How far did it go again? Don't lie to me, okay? Just, oh, I kissed her, not just some Right, she, okay. I've never had sex with her. Right, well, you had oral sex with her? Yes, I okay. sex, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about or to tell me before we go out here? No, that's only, that's the only one thing that's ever happened in a relationship ever. Right. I feel a lot better now, don't we? Just in a few words, what I've said there, I feel a hundred times better. Because you're the first person I've told. But like, yeah. you know anyway, don't you, so... Yeah. I spent some time questioning Ryan. At first, he was most insistent that at no time of it had he ever had a sexual relationship with anybody other than Jenny. In actual fact, that wasn't true, and eventually, he confessed. The verdict is, he is guilty. He is a liar. How do you feel, Jenny? <laughs> Can't you tell me at home? <laughs> <laughs> you do it then. then. <laughs> hey, Jenny, me get me his face. Damn, what's wrong with you? No, you do bring me on home, here. You're doing it on the telly for what? Why do you get home? Why talk? can't you tell me at home no. instead of bringing me up? Why can't down, you tell Jenny. me backstage? Sit down, Jenny. Serious. You're showing yourself up. <laughs> You've showed me up. You've showed me the. You need the All right, to be interrogator have a because if you do, uh, here's McAdam telling you how to get in touch. I read your thoughts. I get inside your head. You can't lie to me. I already know the truth. Nothing can be hidden. I know what you've done, what you've said, where you've been. It was my job as a British Army intelligence officer to question hostile forces. If I can expose the secrets of the enemy, I can certainly expose you. Do you need my skills? Do you fear you're being lied to? Let me help you. I will tell you where your partner has been, what your partner has done, who your partner has done it with. What are you waiting for? Call the number, remember the name, McAdam. Liars, cheats, frauds, watch out. I'm coming to get you. Now, earlier on in the show, Kelly told us how desperate she